I hereby declare that uh, Michael Eskan Queen has been duly consecrated a bishop in the Church of Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Church of my disguise is direct. And defend him by your Jerusalem and you are going to offer and he is speaking from Galilee and he is speaking from Galilee Jerusalem is about 70 to 80 kilometers from Galilee Jerusalem and he uses the image of an altar you know most of the time in our churches we see a high table like the one before that we say that is the altar it's about this height. Yes. So that it's easy to put there a ship and be able to sacrifice. So there was that in Jerusalem. So there was that in Jerusalem. Jesus is speaking to his followers. Jesus is speaking to his followers. This words applies to the people in Kumi and all of us. Here. And you are walking with a ship. You know, you are walking Your Grace, may I invite the Bishop elect to affirm the oath, declaration, and undertaking. 
I Ukwi Esakan Michael fear that I will pay true and canonical obedience the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda in all things lawful and honest. So help me God. I Ukwi Esakan Michael declare that I will be bound by the constitution and the canons of the Church of Uganda and any amendments or additions to the same constitution and canons as may be accepted by lawful authority. I, the Queen Sakai Michael, undertake to offer my resignation to the Archbishop of Church of Uganda if requested to do so by a two-thirds majority of the diocesan bishops. Now, Papa, Bishop elect, Limon, I opposite, Alimo Red, Kachamune, Ebe, Nuali, yes, Simon, Itodoli, yes, though directly being a psychia, a kind of a manager, a chamunes, one of a chamunes, yes, Papa Kyobre de Kaka, no one is I do going a can, a kilo. I will talk about the side of the Kokina Khan. I will be the Church of Uganda. Mame Patana. will be Bishop. I will be the Church of Uganda. I will be the Church of Uganda. I will be the Church of Eri chak slide la anya na zida au tai do kwe na kana ito gum tetele kwa ne limori badau bishop elect kwe sakan Michael ali moreno you can declare now Manuel first first ask him your grace. And the congregation, Can you remove the phone now? I hereby declare no, the that Reverend Ukiyasaka Michael the phone. Can you remove the phone? has confirmed the oath of the, oath, the declaration and the undertaking in my presence. Let us continue the prayer. Brethren, it is written in the Gospel according to St. Luke that our Savior Christ continued the whole night in prayer before he chose and sent forth his twelve apostles. It is written also in the Acts of the Apostles that the disciples who were at Antioch fasted and prayed before they laid hands on Paul and Barnabas and sent them forth. Let us therefore, following the examples of our Savior Jesus Christ and his apostles, first fall to prayer before we admit and send forth our brother Okwi Eskan Michael, presented unto us to the work where unto we trust the Holy Spirit has called him. Let us all join, uh, led by uh, uh, Canon. Unami. Uh, Simu. Please lead us. God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. We humbly pray that you will hear us, O oh Lord, that you will send peace to the whole world, that you will have, you will reconcile yourself by the ministry of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will grant your people the forgiveness of sins and give us grace to amend our lives. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will lead every member of your church in their particular vocations and ministries to serve you in true and godly life. Lord, 
guide all in civil authority to establish justice and maintain it for all people, especially we pray for our president, General Yoel Kaguta Museveni, governor and director our nation and our neighbors beyond, fill our nation with love, truth, unity, reconciliation and development. Hear us, good Lord. That you will raise up able ministers for your church, that the gospel may be known to all people. Hear us, good Lord. That you will inspire all bishops, priests, deacons, and lay leaders with your love, that they may hunger for truth and thirst after righteousness. We especially pray for our archbishop, the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugalu. Hear us, good Lord. That you will fill them with compassion and move them to care for all your people. Hear us, good Lord. That you will bless your brother, our brother. A second of we, Michael, elected bishop in your church, and pour your grace upon him that he may faithfully fulfill the duties of this ministry and build your church and, and glorify your name. Hear us, good Lord. That you will bless all the servants who have served you here in, in the past, and they may be gathered into your under, under ending kingdom. Hear us, good Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord God. We give thanks to God for all those who have come from overseas and other tribes of Africa to bring the light of the gospel to this diocese, especially for the work of the Church Mission Society. We thank you, O God. For all those who have translated the good news of the gospel of Christ in vernacular languages and for the work of the Bible Society. We thank you, O God. For the faithfulness, devotion of many Christians throughout the province, especially in this diocese, and particularly in its parishes and institutions. We thank you, O God. Almighty God, giver of all good things, who by your Holy Spirit has appointed diverse orders of ministers in your church, must pray. Look upon this, your servant, Okui Esaka Michael, now called to the work and ministry of a bishop and a replenishing so the truth of your doctrine and adorn him with the innocence of life that both by word and deed he may faithfully serve in his office, uh, this office, which is your office, to the glory of your name and the edifying and well-governing of the church through the merits of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Elosio Kwanai Ngetinget, Bishop Elektai Ngiseta, Tetirare tubuwa yi kiseta mwon Sote dokonye aita rao na kanya na rani Kwa pikoto ya kambera na kambera Dear brother Okui Eskri Michael For as much as the whole scriptures And the ancient canons command That we should not be hasty in laying on hands and admitting any person to government in the Church of Christ, which he has purchased with no less price than the effusion of his own blood. Before I admit you to this administration, I will examine you in certain articles to the end that the congregation present may have a trial and bear witness how you are minded to behave in the Church of God. Brother Michael, are you persuaded that you are truly called to this administration according to the will of our Lord Jesus Christ? I am so persuaded. Are you persuaded that the Holy Scriptures contain sufficiently all doctrine required or of necessity for eternal salvation through faith in Jesus Christ? And are you determined out of the same Holy Scriptures 
to instruct the people committed to your children and to teach or maintain nothing as required of necessity to eternal salvation. But that which you shall be persuaded may be included and proved by the sin. I am so persuaded and determined by God's grace. Brother Michael Scan, will you then faithfully exercise yourself in the same Holy Scriptures and call upon God by prayer for the true understanding of the same, so as you may be able by them to teach and exhort with the wholesome doctrine and to withstand and convince the gain. Let's give God a round of applause as we celebrate God this day. Amen. On page number 11. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And together we kneel down as we pray our Lord's prayer and praying together saying, our Father in heaven, allowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on us as is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The prayer of purity. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A summary of the law. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, 
and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us. And write these laws. Prayer of the day, Almighty God, who by your Son Jesus Christ gave your holy apostles many excellent gifts and charged them to feed your flock. Give grace, we beseech you, thee, to all bishops, pastors, and lay readers of your church that they may diligently preach the word and duly administer the godly discipline thereof and grant your people that they may obediently follow the same that all may receive the crown of everlasting glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. And together we join in the general confession on page 12 and together praying to our Father saying, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Creator and Judge of all, we confess that we have sinned against you in many ways, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, and in what we have failed to do. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. Forgive us, O oh Father, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Strengthen us that we may serve and please you in a new life. Lift your horn and glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. When we say that we have no sins, we deceive our souls. But when we confess our sins to the Almighty God, He is just and faithful to forgive us all our iniquities. May the Almighty God, who promised forgiveness to all who repent and turn back to Him, now forgive you. May He strengthen you to follow what's good before Him and make us the kind of person He wants us to be. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. We shall stand and we shall sing hymn 97 in our test on page number 13 as we prepare uh, to hear the ministry of the word. to fade away cause every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you wanna love me well then baby i have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really wanna hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we could be okay 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 maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that i've never fell this way i really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away 
try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey Who is unable to be with us, present, but we thank you, life members of the Bible Society of Uganda, that have enabled us to continue with this work of helping people with visual impairment access the Braille Bibles free of charge. It is two million shillings, but we give them, we give it to them free of charge. To read for us today is Elaju Daniel, visually impaired but able to read God's word. I'm Elaju Daniel, a student at Makerere, but also visually impaired. I'm so glad I give testimony here to God that I Let's give God a round of applause as we celebrate God this day. Amen. On page number 11. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And together we kneel down as we pray our Lord's prayer and praying together saying, our Father in heaven, allowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on us as is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen the prayer of purity. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, 
cleanse the, our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The summary of the law. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us and write these laws. Prayer of the day, Almighty God, who by your Son Jesus Christ gave your holy apostles many excellent gifts and charged them to feed your flock, give grace, we beseech you, be to all bishops, pastors, and lay readers of your church, that they may diligently preach the word and duly administer the godly discipline thereof, and grant your people that they may obediently follow the same, that all may receive the crown of everlasting glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. And together we join in the general confession on page 12 and together praying to our Father saying, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Creator and Judge of all, we confess that we have sinned against you in many ways, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, and in what we have failed to do. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. Forgive us, O oh Father, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Strengthen us that we may serve and please you in a new life. Lift your horn and glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. When we say that we have no sins, we deceive our souls. But when we confess our sins to the Almighty God, He is just and faithful to forgive us all our iniquities. May the Almighty God, who promised forgiveness to all who repent and turn back to Him, now forgive you. May He strengthen you to follow what's the good before Him and make us the kind of person He wants us to be. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. We shall stand and we shall sing hymn 97 in our test on page number 13 as we prepare uh, to hear the ministry of the word. Ekosho, Akaisa Kanyango, Nukedi Kanyari, Kapana Kinapuku, Nashunyo, Nakaibadwa. Pepe.
Jakani Kari Kurja Jakai, Malayone Dekan Waki Shanut. Let's give God a round of applause and a shout of praise. May we now invite Bible Society of Uganda to read for us the epistle. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together to welcome Bible Society of Uganda. And more is a cutting walk a job to Bible Society of Uganda. I show mine on a way. Lord Yataibe Ebalua. Praise the Lord. I bring you greetings from the General Secretary, Mr. Simon Peter Muhammad, who is unable to be with us present. But we thank you, life members of the Bible Society of Uganda, that have enabled us to continue with this work of helping people with the visual impairment access the Braille Bibles free of charge. It is two million shillings, but we give them we give it to them free of charge. To read for us today is Elaju Daniel, visually impaired but able to read God's word. I'm Elaju Daniel, a student at Makerere, but also visually impaired. I'm so glad I give testimony here to God that other than the blindness I have, I can see through the word of God. Uh, looking at this, I was able to be the first in the country. I got the maximum of 20 points. Uh, and of course, this I acknowledge majorly to God and the word of God in the Bible. Lossier, qui a été capiché au palais de la Kiradis, c'est un coup pari, à Jacques Naïdar, à Rebouikinos, à Poputu, le limité qui a été capé. Papa, que les cacanes et pour la parana. Your Grace, the Archbishop of the Province of Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Dr. Samuel Kazimba Ngalo. All the bishops of the province of the Church of Uganda here present. The new bishop and all of us. I would have loved to invite the church over this diocese direct and defend him by your grace that he may by word and good example lead the flock committed to him into the way of truth and love holiness and peace through him who is the good shepherd jesus christ our lord amen i'd like to come and lead jolo a camera Archdeacons, Diocesan Secretaries, Opoto, Archdeacons, come, 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 come. Only Archdeacons of Kumi and the DS of Kumi. Aramangi Railo Kumi Mamibuni. Elia Rajolo Soroti. Ah, it's going to them. Aso. Agia Salon City is going to carry the body city to the summer sea. Yes. Mamu Queen, Toto Christine, be a line of your line of your line of your. As we see with the Nerase, yes. Almighty, 
Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. So, Chama Choto Ibuikin, I mark you. Actually, God can remain with you. I mark 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 you. We declare you of Kumi Diocese, receive you as a bishop and promise to observe the teaching of the word of God, constitutions and canons of our church in the fatherness of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to ask you to ask you to ask the head of Laity, member of the head of Laity, Church of Uganda, Kumi Diocese, come over here. And your other colleague, come. Member of the Synod of Guata, a pony only so many are killed. Only the child of Kun, they get a Jabu, Mane Jabu, Papa, Polony Christian, or Dog Kujulai, or take a microphone. A Christian member of the Synod, you like to stand. Dog Kuju, Dog Kuju, Dog Kuju. We have to stand, Brenna, say, I'm Brenna, and I don't know Bishop Line. Uh huh. I Christa yonu kwa mnene bala right reverend father and God Ngare ni kitesi Papa Edeke One, two, three, go Right reverend father in God We the lay people of Kumi Diocese Do receive you as our bishop And promise to observe the teaching of the word of God The constitutions and the canons of the church of Uganda And of Kumi Diocese For the fathers of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. To us, in the constitution of the Church of Uganda, and in conformity with the ritual and rubric of the ordinal, he having been a duly elected by the Dazosan bishops of the Church of Uganda, and first taken the oath and made the declaration, undertaking and promises, required by the constitution the canons of the Church of Uganda. We hereby declare to you that Bishop or Queen Eskad Michael has been duly enthroned in testimony of which we have caused our Episcopal seal to be here and to affix this sixth day of March in the year of our Lord 2022. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kare tito madau na isiboenke. Papa Virgin, pakeleka kan. I'm going to sign here. Hello, Sir Bishop Paido Koki na kan. Declaration na isiboenke. The Chancellor of the Province of the Church of Uganda. We will also sign as a witness. Hello, Sir Richard Slide, the lab board of the Church of Uganda, of Sloach Bishop Ido Kokin, Akan. Abundonga Elipi, a choir. And Morakumi and Kenya District, Teso is local council five chairpersons. LOC five chairpersons, Morakumi and Kenya District, the visiting clergy present, the House of Clergy, Kumi Diocese, all learners present. The lady has come in, come in diocese. All the ladies present, ladies and gentlemen, in your various capacities. I have a dream of seven points that I shall be able to present to you, but distributed and located in various parts. Introduction. We very warmly welcome you all to St. Philip's Cathedral, Mora, the cradle land of the Christian faith in this religion.
St. Peter's wrote you your special which you wanted to present. While Amos College is getting ready after that. Let's check, check out the videos of Savon. Oh? Savon. Because I want to find out who is going to make a speech. I have the Savon. Yeah, they are the biggest box. Change shortly. Seraphim Squire, thank you very much. God bless you.
kai chim kai changa papa kide kaka kwa nini nakukana msikile kufisha na kanisa ama ya ite kanisa ibapi jakana dia bishop maiko isaka no queen take this constitution and the provincial canons and use them as tools to provide the rules and regulations governing church of Uganda in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kwana inyoni Archbishop Aitonia, a bishop no itete, pamijaone, ima jaone karete, e puni papa Aitonia ngezi. Yeah. Ela karate kye. Oni siru metikili, kwa ni toni ya ni papa ngezi, no na la karibalite, si teso, mene kwa ya. Luato tijia sesi, mene hanyo bela. Brethren, I hereby declare that uh, Michael Eskan O'Queen has been duly consecrated a bishop in the Church of Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
boss, my drivers, chocolates, and body guards. Papa Jede Kaka and Wakira, I'm going to say a bit of music. Two of them have decided to say we want to end with Ness. If it is true that this day is going to be a success, they are here somewhere. For us today, we are just saying we want to thank everybody and we want to thank God for making this day come to pass. We want to thank all the Christians who supported us and stood with us. And your grace, you gave me a vehicle to ride. And to drive in your place, in this house. When I took it, I did not know it had a mechanical or a factory problem. <laughs> when I started driving, and I wanted to reverse. So we have persisted and the Lord today has brought us this far. And Ebenezer, and we are asking in your grace that before we have come, we want to wish the Dowsis of Kumi God's blessings, success, peace, unity, reconciliation, and ever forward moving to the glory of God.
care e de Cainar. College. When the bishops return, if you have not presented, then you, you may not. Can you present? Oh, 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 oh,
Sajakai Noi, Amus College, thank you very much, Yalaman Noi, Webalinyo, Bishop of. As we are grateful as deaf people, we are grateful Church of Uganda, we are grateful, the government of Uganda, thank you so much, we are very grateful as deaf children, we are treated equally, we can also now go to school, thank you so much government of Uganda, thank you so much government of Uganda, Mora School for the Deaf is very happy. We want to thank our teachers. Thank you for accepting us the way you are, we are. Thank you for teaching us much as we are deaf. Thank you so much. We are very grateful. Mora District Local Government. The Vice President who is here. The Vice President, thank you for coming to bless this occasion. We are very happy for you. Thank you for coming, Vice President. Thank you. God bless you, the Vice President of Uganda. We are happy. We also wish to be like you. Thank you. We shall always spread the gospel. Thank you. Uh -huh. They are just saying we shall continue spreading the gospel. Though we don't have ears, we shall spread the gospel of the Lord. And people, you saw a blind girl who was reading the Bible from here. Actually, we wanted him to dance with one of the deaf girls. Okay. Okay. We are going to sing anthems in the reverse order, then we shall take photos and then we finish. Total Vice President Yala Manoi. Beautiful. We welcome you, we love you, come again. The St. Philip's Mora Cathedral Choir Youth, get ready, come behind Mora School. Thank you. 